And good morning. It is 22 minutes after 7 o'clock. And joining us in studio this morning from the Roswell Public Library, Tracy Fry back with us. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah, how, was, uh, how was your New Year's uh, celebration or ringing in the New Year for you? Well, we had that noon year's eve party yes at the library there that that saturday or the friday, friday friday before yeah and yeah we had quite a few people come through good bring in the new year at noon yes the, the noon year <laughs> <laughs> the little guys were in there dancing it, cool. it, it was fun good deal got their little uh, hats and just celebrating and having we had the fun. little uh, the streamer things or whatever you know that thing there. that makes the noise Beep, makes the noise and blows the we yeah. had the balloon drop the the balloons dropped, and I thought the kids would be throwing them up, but instead they're popping them. Oh yeah! Before I could even get them out, they were. I think we're trained. We're training kids to think there's prizes inside balloons. Well, they were disappointed, <laughs> and so they want to pop them. Yeah. My when I was that age, I was wanting to keep the balloon right. for uh, a game of keepy uppy with my brother at the house later. Which, yes. If you don't know what keepy uppy is, that's when you run around the house and scare your parents. While trying to prevent the balloon from touching the ground. Yes. And you keep jumping over the couches and everything in the house to do that. And that's why mom gets mad at you. Yes. But your kids, you're like, you know, we didn't have, you know, growing up uh, Xboxes and everything. So you got a balloon. That was hours of entertainment right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's a different world now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very, but the kids had a great time. Yes. Even if they don't know the true fun of a balloon yet. <laughs> They found their own fun with yeah. the balloon. I, I'll just say it like that. I get, I get the poppin's fun, especially if you get to scare somebody and didn't know it. But but keepy yeah. uppies, a I don't know. I I spent many hours, you know, trying to keep the balloon from hitting the floor. I don't know what was going on. All I knew, I was trying to get the <laughs> well, the balloon drop didn't kind of work, so I had to kind of oh, shake yeah, it dude. out. Okay. And I'm just hearing all this pop 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 <laughs> around me, and we had the confetti. Launchers too, so. Uh, well, cool. Somebody <laughs> had a good time. Yes. Good. And bring in 2022 here. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very good. But uh, <clears throat> that really means now that you guys kind of turn your attention to uh, the... to events and things that are happening here uh, yes. in the new year, which uh, is a lot. There's a lot that's always going on at the library. For, oh, yes. For, for pretty much every age group. So mm -hmm. if you're adults, there's a lot of great uh, programs, things, events, uh, meetings, things like that that you right. can have. And, um, for the young kids, you know, you got your story times and things during the day. Right. When 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 the older kids are in school, mm -hmm. then there's after school stuff for your right. younger kids. Even for teenagers, there's you know uh, things on the weekends or or, right. in, or in the evenings. There's you know anything from uh, computer stuff to just having fun with Legos and things like that. Yes. There's, there's all kinds of stuff to get involved with as a family or as an individual at the library. Yes, we just had Lego this past Saturday. Good, and we had quite a few people come in, and that, they said they heard it on the radio. So thank good. you. Good, it's a well, it's it gets more and more popular <laughs> because every generation connects with Legos at this point. I think yes. pretty much everybody on Earth mm -hmm. grew up with Legos as a kid. I mean, they're that they've been around that long. Where I'm thinking, even grandparents and stuff are like, yeah, I had Legos as a kid too. You know, or at least stepped on it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've, I've I've got a few Lego wounds right here on my <laughs> yes. foot. But so we all know Legos and love Legos, and so that's mm -hmm. you don't have to. It's not a generational gap there. Everybody knows Legos, and right. so that's a great connecting point for families and things. And you know, mom and dad tell tell their their <laughs> kids like when I was a kid, we used to make these with Legos. Right, you know? right. So and and so those kind of nights. So we'll look. We'll talk about those. But mm -hmm. um, get a calendar each month from the right. library that way, and put it on your fridge or. Or follow uh, if you're more of an electronic person on social media and what mm -hmm. have you. You can uh, kind of stay abreast of of the different events and things happening right. uh, through through the Facebook page. But that way, you're like, oh, when's the next Lego night? Right. Oh, look at the calendar here. Let's you know make sure we get the family and go do that. Correct. So, very good. So uh, I guess rather than just talk, we got a bunch. Let's start talking about some of the events that are happening. Okay. Here. So of course on Fridays we'll have crochet club for. A it can be all ages, but they meet at 3 p.m. Okay. It's mostly adults, but... If you've got a love of crochet or want to, to, to kind of learn the art of crochet... Right. Definitely. That, you know, I found out um, over the Christmas break, I went and... Uh, and I told you stories about my mom and crocheting. Yeah. But um, my sister, my youngest sister, who I have two sisters that are still school age. Uh, it's a whole story. Okay. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, my dad... They've all passed away, but my dad remarried uh, in right. 20. But anyway, 
So I have two sisters that are one's in high school, one's in seventh grade. So, wow. but the seventh grader, mm-hmm. Allie, she uh, is now taking up crocheting. Oh, cool! And so she was uh, crocheting while I was, and so I told her mm-hmm. when I before I left, I said, "For next Christmas, I want you to crochet me an Afghan for Christmas. That's what I want as my Christmas mm-hmm. gift." So she's gonna. I kind of did that to make her stick with it. You know, yeah. I was like, "I want you to stay with this because right." Know, that's it, it reminded me of my mom, not that that's related or anything. But right. When you say that crochet, it's because I think more younger people need to get yes. involved in these things because yes. there's not as many. Like when I grew up, there was a lot of, of, of people that were crocheting, sewing. And, right. and over time, there's been less and less of that. Yes. And and uh, I, I hate to feel that it's becoming a dying art form where people like if I can't order it on a line or, right. or have some – Eventually, there's going to be running out of people that still make the stuff if no right. one's picking up that tradition. So yes. I love to see things like crocheting and things for younger folks, older folks, and yes. and maybe that bridge of a gap. Maybe you've got some folks who have been crocheting their whole life. Mm-hmm. Some some younger folks come in and say, you know, I, I would like to learn this. Or yes. I remember my mother used to do this, and that was, our, you know. Mm-hmm. I just love to see more people get involved, and this is a great way to do that. So. Yeah, my grandkids made me make them all crochet them blankets oh cool so yeah i have a little arthritis now but (laughs) it's it's done (laughs) (laughs) she's like all right maybe i'm gonna yeah maybe maybe uh i think you gotta build a um the endurance yeah like like calluses or something you know it's because my my mother like i she must have had either arthritis crazy or she had just been doing it for so long that just something yeah like it's just because she was constantly doing it, so yeah. it's. But I never thought about that. But as soon as you say, I was like, "How does she even bend her hands?" Because she literally was all, a, on the weekends when she was, and then she was a medical transcriptionist well, she, as a day job. So she's typing all day too. She had muscles there already oh, yeah. from typing. She had like Arnold Schwarzenegger like hands, yeah. with big ripped fingers and veiny. <laughs> she says, "Mike, come here." That's yes. right. I know. <laughs> Your hands are on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> no, with that. But that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I got uh, sidetracked there. Uh, oh, that's all right. What's the date on the, the crocheting? Uh, it's every Friday at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. every Friday. There. Yes. So um, if you can't make it this Friday, no worries. Come on out next Friday. Exactly. And, uh, whenever you have a free Friday, come and start start getting it. And hopefully the idea is you come every Friday. And, and now we got quite a little uh, crochet group out there. Uh, right. Starting up projects or whatever they're going to do. So. Right. Cool. Uh, what's next? Okay, so this Saturday we're gonna have a movie at the library. Okay, we're gonna be watching Ferdinand. Okay, and that's at two p.m. That's the bull, right? Ferdinand the bull. Yeah, yeah the okay. one that likes the flowers. Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, so that's gonna be at two p.m. We'll have popcorn. Everybody's welcome to come. So bring the whole family. Come out, sit, yes. and enjoy a movie uh, there at the library. Free movie. Yeah. Uh, free popcorn, I guess too. Yes. All right. So come and enjoy some free popcorn, yeah. free movie, and uh, bring the family and sit down and enjoy it and exactly. spend a little, a little family time together. All right. Good deal. Yeah. And uh, okay, we're close on the seventeenth, which most businesses are anyway. Because yes. Doctor Martin Luther, Martin Luther King. King Jr. Day. Yes. Right. Okay. The following Saturday, we're gonna have board games. Okay. We moved all of our. We were doing things on Thursday, but we felt that we can get more people if we come on doing on Saturday. Okay. And so we're going to have board games from 11 to 2. Okay. And uh, we just bought board games. You come in. Come and go events. So. Okay. So what, just, you know, grab you, you know, if your family comes in or you and some friends. Mm-hmm. Then you got, the, there's the pile of games. Pick the one that, that, that right. you want to play and, and have fun with it. Whether, you know, like right. sorry or clue or whatever. Whatever's in the pile there. Right. Uh, another thing I learned over this Christmas holiday, <laughs> apparently they make, like the classic board games, but like miniature versions of them, like okay. like something you can maybe play in the car or something. Oh my goodness! Yeah, because um, I saw uh, like the game of life okay. was like that, and there was another game that was not mouse trap, but something in that that vein was okay. like, and it was kind of miniaturized. And I was like, oh, and I kept asking. I was like, because the, the game of life one, someone, uh, somebody, my sister or cousin or one mm-hmm. of the kids got it. Yeah, and I'm like. Uh, so has it got like the little pink and blue pegs? And yeah, it's got, it's kind of had the same, but it's, it's a little scaled back version, but it was. That's cool. So though. I guess it, like if you want to 
maybe teach younger kids a game of life, but don't want to get the full game of life already. Or this was like you, a miniature version. Or if you're yeah. in the car and you're like driving for, yeah. like you're driving to Albuquerque, yeah. so the kids can be in the back playing that. Yeah, game. exactly. And then you don't have to spread out the big board game right. and lose, you know, take up half the space in the back to do it. So right. yeah, I, I I didn't. I just happened to see them over there. So. Yeah. Uh, the full size board games will be at the library. You don't need the miniature version. Yes, we have the full size. <laughs> Plenty of room to spread out and get a table and play a board game. Yeah, you so. can stretch out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, what's next? Okay, so the week of the twenty third. Okay. Is Hol- Holocaust Remembrance Week. Okay. And so we were fortunate enough to get these free books. I forgot who we got them from. Okay. Same oh, it's got me. the about Anne Frank. So we're going to be offering the Anne Frank Diary of a Young Girl. Okay. And now, is that, that's not the diary. Is that her book, Diary yeah. of Okay. Okay. I didn't know if that was like a, a book about the book or is no, the book. No, no. Is that the actual That's book? the actual Anne Frank book. Okay, cool. And then Ellie Weisel's Night, we got we received a box of these books, and we're going to okay. put them out. And if people are interested during the week of the 23rd, they can come in and pick up a free book. Oh, great. I yeah. think that, yeah, if you have never read the Diary of Anne Frank. They might need it for school also. Yeah, uh, that's worth a pickup. You yes. know? Um, I mean, obviously, there's some age appropriate on this here. If kids oh, are yeah. really young. You, but you the know. high schoolers, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, but... absolutely. Yeah. And and, and I'll, since we're just talking this real quick, uh, if folks uh, add this to your bucket list kind of thing, uh, but if you ever get a chance to go sightsee in Washington, D.C., mm-hmm. uh, you know, a lot of people go to the mall and go see the Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, all the, the, the big ones. Right. Um, add to your list the Holocaust Museum. Yes. Uh, it, it's not part of the Smithsonian. It's it's there in the area, but it's not. Mm-hmm. So it's a little. It's it's not like the Smithsonian museums. You right. just walk in. Or, I believe there's even a fee to go to it. It's a private museum, but it is one of the most powerful museums I've ever been in. I've never right. had an impact inside a museum like I did the Holocaust Museum. I can believe that. <laughs> and it's. Because of the visuals, <laughs> yes. and 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 it's not not that it's gory or anything like that. It's just there's a lot of representations, and so like you walk through one room that's like three stories tall, and it's not a very big, mm-hmm. you know, as far as square footage room. It, right. It's three stories, and I think there's levels above, but uh, or walkways above you. But you walk in this room, and you're on the bottom floor, and there's just pictures, paintings on the wall three stories high, and every one of them is a painting of someone lost in the Holocaust. And then you look yes. down, and there's pairs of shoes. Like you're on a little bridge, mm-hmm. and you're walking a, b- a couple feet above it, and there's pairs, and again, mm-hmm. the pairs of shoes, each shoe represents someone. And, and to see it in those terms, you're mm-hmm. just like, holy cow. Yep. And then, of course, um, they like there's a section where you're going through and you're seeing the quote-unquote equipment that they're using to determine who's a Jew and who's not a Jew right. and, and like the eye charts and the little hair things and, and to see all that. And you're just like, this is real. And this is, you right. know, it, it, it puts all of the stuff you hear and it turned that it, you really have trouble wrapping your head around yes. and it puts it into something that you can visualize, see, and Holy cow, this was, you know what I mean? And right. so that museum, I've never had that kind of powerful effect in a museum before. And I've been in lots and love museums. But right. That one got me. I was like, "Wow!" I mean, and then they, and how they do it is when you get in, they give you a little card of a person, and and, and you can kind of look up as you're going through, and 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 nine times out of ten, the person that you get is it, they end up, of course, dying in the Holocaust. Yeah. I think I've seen one or two that they that they didn't, but most wow. most of the ones have all been 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 passed on. So, but it's a, a highly recommended. I know yes. we, we got off top. I got off topic <laughs> again, but. Uh, Great. Diary, if you never read that book, that's worth a read for folks. Too. This one is good, too. I okay. Mean, I haven't read that one. I'm not yes. familiar with that one. Yeah. This one is really good, too. It's short. Night is short, but it... So it's a quicker read or right. something. Good deal. Excellent. Um, so uh, those are available or the, the right week... now to or the week of uh, 23rd? Yes. The... Okay. And we'll have them sitting out when okay. you come into the library, so you can just but go pick up one. I guess in theory, if you want one today, there you can go check one out if there's a copy available. At the... Yeah, these are for you to keep. Oh, oh, these are keepers. Oh, these are never... keepers. Oh, okay, never mind. But if you want to rent it or rent it, borrow. you want to borrow one. <laughs> rent, <laughs> borrow. <laughs> Blockbuster Roswell Public Library. <laughs> yes, no, if you want to, if you want to check one out there and read it, and then <laughs> maybe come back on the twenty third, have your own copy. Exactly. That would be a great, great thing to, to do. Yes. Cool. Very good. Uh, what's next here? 
Okay, on the 29th, which is a Saturday, is National okay. Puzzle Day. So we're going right. to actually put out puzzles. All right. And if you're coming through, you can just walk by and put a piece in. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can sit for a while, put a couple of pieces in. Yeah. Do you get frustrated and then you can leave? Yeah. I, I doubt, maybe there's going to be one person that stays there the whole day and puts a puzzle together. There normally is like one person, one. no matter what state you're in, <laughs> that comes and specifically for that and puts the puzzle together. Nice. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I love doing puzzles every once in a while, too. I, I, I don't have an obsession with it. Like, uh, yeah. I know there's some people, it's like, I, I got to have a puzzle going. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't. I mean, it's fun. <laughs> and uh, to me, that's a group activity. Like, it's, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah, you could do it by yourself and everything. But to me, part of the fun is, you know, everyone, like, usually if someone's prepping a meal or doing something, mm -hmm. getting ready for holidays. Right. And then, like, everyone that's not involved in that process is sitting around the kitchen table with a puzzle going. Yeah. And everyone, you know, is three or four contributing. To me, that's, that's like, the perfect puzzle I scenario. Guess, I used to could sit and do a puzzle. It would take me a week or whatever. But I was... And then I couldn't do anything else because I'm obsessed with this puzzle. Well, and plus it takes up acreage. Like, yeah. so if you put it on the kitchen table, pretty right. much all things you normally do on the kitchen table are out until exactly. that puzzle is. And then when you get it done, you're like, well, <clears throat> uh, uh, what do I do now? I don't know. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to But I can't just leave it yet. here sitting on the kitchen table for a month. I'll leave it for a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess some people actually go and get them matted and framed and all that, too, which uh, is pretty cool. But yeah. Yeah, I, to I, each his own. Yeah, I, I I don't know if that's still popular, but there was for a while there where people would, after they complete the puzzle, they basically get it framed and hang it on right. the wall and say, "Hey, I got a piece of art for five bucks or whatever the puzzle costs." So. Yeah, now they're a little bit more, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess depending on the puzzle. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good deal. But come, uh, what day was the puzzle day again? It's on the Saturday, the 29th. All right, and it starts at 11 a.m. So come, come puzzle with us. Yes. If you like, you're more than welcome to come and puzzle with us. And if you're thinking, that's puzzling, well, then come on. <laughs> come over and check out what we're talking about. <laughs> it's not so puzzling once you see it. <laughs> yes. Uh, very good. What's next? Okay. What we're, we started this week, because we have, we do still do our our story times, our Mother Goose on Tuesdays okay. at 1030. And our, we call it music and movement on Wednesday at 1030. Okay. And uh, what we started with the younger kids is we asked the parents if they were, are interested in joining our Raise a Super Reader. Okay. So we have a little registration form. The object is to try to read to your kid 1,000 books before kindergarten. Okay. Very and so cool. we're asking, we we had a few people sign up already, and we're asking the first 50, you get a free, the kid gets a free book. Okay. And they get a certificate. And if they actually complete all 1,000, they get a cape that says Super Reader. Nice. Yeah. So great. So if you want to... And that's great because yeah, we talk about this, you and I, and, and all the time. Mm -hmm. The more exposing your kids to reading, whether even when they're not old enough to read themselves, right. by you reading to them and, right. and uh, you know, like this bedtime story time, you know, you show right. them the pictures. And, 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 I, I, and that's why kids always like the same 12 stories, if you ever notice. Mm -hmm. When they're a kid, you know, when they're at bedtime, and it's like, read me this one. It's like, I've read you that one five times. They've memorized it. They go and that yes. to, to be honest, that that's developing those reading skills. Right. They, they're already associating the pictures and the things you're doing mm -hmm. with the words in there. And so yeah. even though they don't necessarily know that word is elephant, they seen it enough to associate, oh right. elephant, elephant. Right. I recognize that as elephant. And that kind of speeds that process up when they start doing the actual formal training for reading. On yes. That, so. And if your kid if you sign your kid up for this and you're reading and they keep asking you to read the same book five times. You can list that book five times because you read it to them five times. So it's, it's, and we understand because they're kids. That's what right. they want. Yeah. So it's an uh, easy to achieve goal. Yeah. Especially if you're reading all the time sure. to your kids. Yeah. And, and I know a thousand books, but they're kids' books. Well, we just uh, break them out in <laughs> segments too. So it's not 1,000, the first 50. Sure. And after that, it's 100, gotcha. 100. So every time they. So you take goal, it like break it into bites, basically. Right. And they okay. get a free book between the bites. Good deal. And they get the certificate. And then you read the book, the and it counts towards the next book, basically. And if they come the to story time, they can write the titles down that we read. Okay. And that can be included in there. And awesome. that's what some of the parents did yesterday. Good deal. So use utilize the, the actual uh, library story times and things right. to count towards those as well. Because, again, the whole point of this is to expose the kids to as much reading as possible to right. get them 
uh, to where reading is just part of their everyday lives. Yes. And so when it's time for the actual training of it, they're going to embrace it. They're going to love it. And uh, hopefully when uh, they are able to read on their own, they're going to go and start picking up books and finding things that they like to read before right. teachers and everybody make them read things that they're supposed to read. So, And like you <laughs> said, and also, like you said, elephant, it becomes a sight word. Yeah. That they, they know they realize that that word is elephant. Yeah. So, so those little words, you don't realize that they're picking it up, sure. but they are. Well, I mean, and, and, and this is weird, but I remember when I was a kid, uh, this is one of those early memories that it was a <laughs> Superman record, like at my parents that bought me and it was, mm-hmm. but, and on the picture it had like the comic book Superman, it said Superman across, I couldn't read, right. but I, when I knew that I knew it got Superman. And right. so I, it, that, and, and it's a weird memory, but it's one of the few I remember from that early childhood. I remember Superman seeing Superman, but not knowing it's Superman because right. I didn't know how to read yet, but understanding it just because of visual and. And, yeah. and putting putting the, the dots together, so to speak. So. Mine was Dick and Jane. I remember learning that. So I'm dating myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was Superman. That could go in many directions. Because, <laughs> you know, it go from the 30s all the way up to modern times. <laughs> everyone had a generation of Superman. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's so it, it, regardless, I mean, even if you can't make some of the events we're talking about here. Right. Use this as a as a reminder to read to your kids. Either right. you know, if, even if you can't come to the library and do it formally, make sure you're reading every night to these kids. Yeah, right. Uh, and and just being on top of that, be actively involved with it. Share, talk to the talk to the kids about the story. Make them make them, make them interact with you about right. the story. You know, so yeah, good deal. Uh, what's next? Um, so I was told to let you. Oh, first of all. Outside of our library mm-hmm. on the uh, north side on 4th Street. Okay. It's all tore up because there, there's con- a little construction going on over okay. there. So that door you can't go through. And okay. it's just that they're leveling. We had a cement that was, roots were uh, making it unlevel. So they uh, pulled gotcha. everything out. So right this week, they should be done by the end of this week, okay. hopefully. So that little. So, so just go on the other side. Right, there. we're open. It's just that that that, that area is getting some work and probably should avoid walking around there. Right, you can't the... even go through the door and it's all dirt now, so you wouldn't want to walk. Through yeah, there. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but they are open. They're they're, yes. they're, they're, they're they're just go around the other side there. But yeah, well, that's part of the, I guess the the one problem of having because the the library is right there, kind of in that even in the historic district a little bit. So you got right. a lot of mature trees and things right. in that area, which is beautiful, but. Mature trees have big, deep roots, and sometimes they get into pipes and things right. and things like the, that. So that's that's the mixed blessing there, I guess you could say a little bit. But yeah. Good deal. But but please, uh, don't worry. Just go around the other side there. Exactly. And then the courtesy of the, fin- the friends don't help us get a new AWE learning computer. It's oh, a game cool. computer. Okay. And with it's a learning game computer. Gotcha. And so the, thanks. Thank you, friends of the library. Friends of the Roswell Public Library. Keep supporting them by going to their books again yes. uh, store there. and, and On Richardson? Yeah, on Richardson. It's moved a few times. used to be there on, on 2nd, but now it's uh, over on Richardson there. But, uh, yeah, that's if you're a reader, uh, that's your Shangri-La. Because, literally, people donate books. Uh, the, if there's books that are kind of out of circulation in the library but still functional as readable right. books, those will get go over there. But, uh, all the whenever you go there and buy a bunch of books, all the proceeds from that go back to programs for the Roswell Public right. Library. Um, like if you may have guest speakers or things and the, and the right. refreshments and all that. Um, obviously, they got uh, some funds here to to pay for this computer. Right. Uh, so when you go buy books over there, that's what they do. Or if you donate books, and they have DVDs also because we oh, just good. donated a big old box. Of all right. Seats. So if you're looking for some DVDs, go mm-hmm. check it. Yeah, it. It's kind of a hidden little treasure every time you go over right. there. Right. Um, if you're a collector or looking for like owner's manuals, Chilton manuals, those kinds of books, they usually have a, a, a wealth of those over yeah. there. If you love those kind of, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, or cookbooks, recipe books, right. those kinds of things. Um, and then uh, just a quick note, like uh, I know we're just past the holidays, but usually around the holiday season, mm-hmm. they, they hold back brand new items that were donated and uh, they'll kind of keep them and make them available online during the holidays there. I know we're out of that season right now, but, right. but keep that be in your bonnet for, for future right. holidays here. So yeah, good deal. What's uh, what else do we need to cover? And uh, last thing I need to cover is that we got, we're, we're installing new flooring in the w- young adult area. Okay. So 
if you come to the library, you go over there, you'll see the carpet is pulled up. But we are getting it's this we're replacing the Good. flooring. Well, it's great. It's great to see that there's all, all this new stuff coming in and getting updates. Yes. Uh, um, obviously, uh, during COVID, uh, the library was hit hard with that water pipe burst, oh, and, yes. and so that took a while to recover from. So it's just uh, it's just part of the maintenance of doing the building there. And, yes. But uh, but yes, yeah, so so even though there's a little construction around the area, a little bit of stuff going on, please come on by, right. enjoy. There's still plenty of quiet corners for you to read your book or oh, yes. uh, hang out. And, this is uh, a nice size library, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> yes. So if you're looking for just a quiet place to study, no problem. We got you covered. Right. Very good. Um, Again, follow the Roswell Public Library on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. Two great ways to stay up to date on uh, events and things. And and a lot of times I'll post pictures and things. So if you go to some of the events, hey, come back and look. Maybe uh, you're on some of the pictures there from the events and things. Um, And then, of course, like we said, uh, if you go to the front desk there, you know, and pick up the the, the monthly calendar. Yes. um, You can grab that and then put it on your fridge. And that way, uh, especially if you got the young ones. And you're looking for events and things to keep them busy, um, particularly like if they're doing like the remote learning days and stuff they're doing right. now and you need some added assistance there. Mm-hmm. The Rousel Public Library is a is a, a definitely great resource to help folks, um, even for tutoring or extra work there. And I just almost forgot to tell you that we restarted our STEM classes. So oh, they great. are Wednesdays at 2.30. We'll have STEM classes. Okay. So every Wednesday you can come in. It's, it's geared for grades third. Third to fifth. Okay, so uh, so middle elementary school age right. children, uh, if you doing science and things like that, right. and uh, I know they talk about like rocketry and all kinds right. of great STEM related. So it, it's 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 when you hear STEM, it's cool. They do the cool stuff to save kids how what right. kind of cool STEM related careers and opportunities are available right. through STEM. So um, that's great, uh, especially if you got kids that are. Maybe uh, not really sure what they're kind of want to do and all those right. kind of things. And so this is a chance to get some of these third and f- through fifth graders in and say, hey, this is what, what, what they do for the science and space and engineering or whatever, particularly right. that topic is that day. Um, yes. These kids can get exposed to that. So it's and and the elementary schools do get out early on Wednesday. So yes. that's why we did it at 2.30 because we saw a, a lot more parents and kids coming in. Yeah. So that way if if, if – you, you, you as parents are like, well, I can't, I can't go home with them yet. Well, let's go take them to the library and get now finish up my day and do that. So, right. Cool. Very good. <laughs> yeah. uh, did we get it all? Yes, we did. <laughs> and uh, good deal. And uh, folks, come on down. Uh, now, uh, library is going to be closed Monday. Yes. For Martin Luther King Jr. Day on the seventeenth. Right. And but, we're always closed on Sundays. Yes. So, uh, but regular hours outside of that uh, is normally Monday through Thursday, ten to seven. And Friday and Saturday, 10 to 6. Very good. But uh, they will be closed this upcoming Monday for Martin Luther King right. Jr. The, the book, the drive through drop-off uh, is it's open, always open 24-7. So um, you can drop off books even on Martin Luther King Jr. Day oh, yes. there. And no problem. They'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. Well, as always, appreciate the visit, Tracy. And Thank uh, you. we'll see you here next time. And yes. don't work too hard and look for more fun stuff happening at the library. Yes. <laughs> and get out there. Have some fun. Come. There's so many things you can do in library. And, of course, I know taxes, people are going to be thinking about that uh, once again when uh, the, those forms come in and all that available, we'll, we'll let you know. Right. I don't think they're it. in yet, but okay. probably next time I come, hopefully yeah. they'll be in. Usually around first part of February is when those start rolling in here. Right. Once W-2s and everybody get get out to everybody there. So right. uh, we'll probably talk more about that next time yes. you're here. So Awesome. Well, thank you, Tracy. We'll, thank you. We'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs>